Hello and welcome back to our third segment of Oleg's case. Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish up his preparation now. I'm going to work a little harder on this lingual, finishing it up and getting the margins perfect. And we'll move right to the buckle. Again, just air on the tooth. Our prep design, we're going to just keep it nice and close to the tissue level. better and better. Uh, it looks like we got a nice dimension there. This looks good back in here. Maybe we can go down there just a hair, just to open it up just a little bit. There we go. At least to the diameter of a, a larger chamfer burr. And then I'm going to develop that distal uh, lingual line angle. Just bring it around just a hair more. go. That's got a nice little platform to it. Perfect. Now let's finish up here. So again, just going to come in a little bit below the tissue now because this is the aesthetic zone. A little air on that tooth, please. And come down into the perk of area, come around, and I'm literally just Polishing the margin, polishing the margin. Well, that looks great. We'll just hit that with some water now and then we'll rinse it. We had Olek wanted to uh, forego the video eyewear, but he wanted me to record this for YouTube. And for all the viewers out there in the dental world, and also patients like himself that could use uh, a little more of an education on crown preparation design, and we'll dry that tooth now. And we're moving right ahead here. We're just getting really close to, to finishing and polishing. So um, let me just back off the mag. Uh, we've taken the mesial area down nicely. And we'll pull this over. This goes next. The key is polishing. Because labs need that information to transfer. So we have a rhomboid shape, right? And this dimension is wider than this dimension, and the margins follow the rhomboid shape as well. Now I just want to make sure my champers are good to go. My lab's not going to question the integrity of the margin so I'm going to go up to high mag for that I get a nice clean crystal margin and I 
always try to marginate with no water on if you can do it because you're just using low reps but a lot of movement yeah back it off again just check the buckle reduction I think we can bring it in just a little bit more a little concavity right here. As you turn the corner, dry the tooth again. There's our angle now. That looks really good. This one I'll just develop this just a little bit more and we should be good to go. Great. know what my occlusal reduction is but I'm going to show you after I polish both the contacts and the occlusal. I'm going to do the occlusal polishing. I'm just going to take a Siltrax. Uh, this is labs want you to definitely polish the occlusal. They want round line angles because when they wax to a case or if you're scanning a case it's got to got to be no sharpness here. So I just take my time, polish that carefully, take a good look at it, and they're all nice and round. Perfect. Now we got the context of the adjacent teeth to clean up. So we're going to do that next. And then we'll show you the reduction. Yeah, let me have a let me have a a thin blue composite, light blue composite disc. We're going to use a soft flex disc from 3M Corporation. I like these because they're very kind to the adjacent teeth, especially if you've got composite on the adjacent tooth. Second. And um, I see a little speck on that adjacent tooth. I don't know what that is, but we'll make a note of it if it doesn't come out. Be just a slight little surface imperfection here on the mirror. Okay. While we're doing that, let me go ahead and dry this off. Just double checking that contact area. It looks like just a surface imperfection of some type. I don't know what that is. That's a little debris of something. Uh, zero in on it. Uh, it's been a restored area. It's not decay, I know that. And it's smooth, so some kind of surface discoloration, but it's not decay. This contact looks perfect. We didn't touch it. It's natural. We'll leave it. 
I don't see, well, let's see if I see any undercuts. I might be slightly, so we'll take this and polish it back a little bit. We'll do that next. A slight undercut there, so I gotta make sure we're parallel, at least parallel with some divergence. So let's take it back just a little bit more. Air on the mirror. I am going to flatten the contact a little bit with a fine diamond. Out, please. Out, please. Air on the tooth. That's better. There's a little hump right here to this tooth. I'm just going to flatten it a little bit. Just flatten it just a hair. Because we want to get a nice flat contact area, make it better for Oleg to floss. Okay, that looks good. I'm just still kind of in binocular vision. You can actually see the path. See, we want to make sure that this tooth, when it goes in, it has a path of insertion. So that's good, but we should round now the corners just a little bit. Just round them. Orthodontically, this tooth is just to see how it's out of place a little bit. It's a little too close to this molar. So we have to recreate some of that. Now I'll polish that again. Out, please. And air on the tooth. Air only. That's good. That's a good polish. And then we'll use the cup, and I'll just round that margin. Just a little bit. We'll check our clues of clearance. Air on the uh, air on the tooth. Air on the mirror. All right. Okay, cavity cleanser coming next, and we'll rinse it out thoroughly. Okay, go ahead. Now we'll check the final clearance before we go to the, the next segment. All right, so this is our clearance check, at least 1.5 millimeters in clearance checking. So let's slide that into place like so. Have, have you go ahead and close all the way down and stay closed. So it's just coming out, so it's just slightly tight. Let's just see where it could be. Close down together. Uh, lingual, so it's the lingual cusp, right in the lingual. We can see it, so we'll go ahead and adjust that for him. Once we get the lingual adjusted a little bit more, we're all set for the temporization. Open, please. So it's a straight lingual cusp right in here. I'm going to keep air on the tooth. I'm going to keep it uh, consistent. So I'm going to develop the groove. There. Let's see if that was enough, because I have to go back in and polish it, but I want to check it first. Okay, close again, all the way down. Stay closed. That slides out even better. Open. Close again, all the way down. Stay closed. Comes out a lot less retention there. Good. So again, just a little more polish, and then we're good to go. And uh, excuse me, and uh, just take uh, one more thing and just polish that one more time. Great. Have you close again all the way down? And bring your tongue back in a little bit. Looks great. Oh, 
Perfect. Okay. Let's see again. We're going to do a one minute impre uh, uh, temporization method here. Um, but I'm going to put it on the next video. So I'll see you guys and girls in one.